and doing free code camp back in development and APIs. We are in the basic Node and Express course on the eighth challenge, chain middleware to create a time server. So basically what this is saying is that middleware can be mounted on specific routes. Um, it can also be chained with route definition. So as you can see here, they have a route at slash user. It's a get request route. And this function, um, this is the middleware. And then they respond with whatever this middleware did, which was create a git user sync, uh, responded with that evidently. So this approach can be useful to split the server operations into smaller units. That leads to better app structure and possible reusability of code. Uh, this approach can be used to perform validation of data. This is how you would most commonly see this in uh, an actual backend, in an actual express backend app. Uh, to validate data at some point, at each point of the middleware stack, you can block the execution of the current chain and pass control to the function specifically designed to handle errors. Yeah, so that's that's basically how you would see this in a actual app. In this case, instead of validation, all we're going to do at this route of now is is create a time. That's going to be our middleware. It's going to grab the uh, ch -ch -ch. function that should add the current time of the request at the request.time key. Okay, so we're going to create a new a new time with new date and then to string. The handler respond with the JSON object, the structure request.time. Okay, so in this case, we're just going to, like I said, create a time object and respond with that time. But you can see how hypothetically uh, we could do validations here and then send a response. Uh, in the middle of this operation. So that's kind of what they're getting at. That's kind of the real use case of this. I don't think you would ever have a route that just responds with the JSON of the time. Uh, but again, hypothetical, this is a sandbox environment. We're just trying to learn the core concepts here. So we are in our replit file and we're going to create a new route and this is going to be the eighth challenge. So number eight, we're going to app.git and the route is going to be slash now and then we're going to have a let's look back here middleware function and then the actual response handler uh, okay so we can say for the middleware request let's put this in request response and then the next function and then we want to create a new date. Uh, Request.time. Request.time key. Okay, so in the middleware function, you can you should add the current time to the request object in the request.time. So I suppose we should say request.time equals new date, capital D, because that is a function, and then to string, I believe is the method it wants us to use, to string and function. Okay, once we've done that, this is the middleware function. We can now say next, so it moves on, and then this is where we would, outside of that, uh, this whole argument, this is one argument, we can now have our actual handler function. Okay, so next, and then right here, we'll say request response, and then we are going to respond with a JSON, so res.json, and then time, request time. Okay, so res.json, and then we want to respond with the JSON object that says time, time, and then request dot time. So that looks like that's what we should have to do for this one. Uh, request time, yep. Note, the test will not pass if you do not chain the middleware. If you mount the function somewhere else, the test will fail even if the output is correct. So I believe we did this correctly. Um, now we just have to test it by going to this now route and we should see the request time there in an object. So let's stop the server, run it again.
we go. We have our middleware logger logging all the responses. And now we can go to our actual live app site. So here we are. And now we can go to the slash now. And we have the time. So that looks like that's what we want because it is in a string. So we can now take this project link and paste it in free code camp and check the challenge and that is all we needed to do. So again, not really how you would ever do middleware in a full stack application, um, but the important thing to note is you can chain middleware to a specific route to handle validations, handle anything that you need to handle with that route, and then have you the route handler handle that logic afterwards. So good concept to understand, but again, not exactly a realistic implementation of how uh, or why we would actually use something like this. So yeah, hope that helped. See you guys in the next challenge.